So you notice what we've done so far is we've been using fixed stakes in here. And um, you've also noticed, or you should have noticed, that when a trade completes with a fixed stake, you get a varying return. Sometimes you make 50p, sometimes you make a pound, and it seems to you know be random almost. Now it's not random, obviously, because that's to do with the odds at which you're trading. Um, but if you look up here at auto staking, we'll switch off the stake all on here at the moment. But if you look at auto stake, you can stake by tick size. And the advantage of doing that is if we choose a tick size of one, we're saying that uh, one pound, one euro, or whatever currency you're using will be the return that you make on a successful trade. So if I do update stakes here, you will see that that automatically updates the amount of stakes that we're using. And can you see how it changes according to the odds that are available for us to trade at? And the reason that it's doing this is because if we go on to the favorite and we trade the favorite here, I'm just going to use make market to do this then what will happen is if this trade completes successfully then we will earn a one pound profit so we're waiting for money to get filled at 325 it's quite a lot of money there I'm not sure that that will complete but we'll keep an eye on for a second but let's uh, let's try down here as well we'll go um, at 7 8 and 7 6 and we will um, have a look at what's going on there so if this order fills at 7 8 and 7.6, you see we're waiting for it to fill at 7.6. There we go. Can you see we've earned a one pound profit? So instead of trading to an arbitrary amount, by using the staking up here, you can actually trade to a fixed amount. And the benefit of that is as the trade goes for or against you, it goes for or against you in very fixed amounts. So rather than trading with a flat stake that, that we've done previously, what we've done is modified our behavior here to allow it to trade for a set profit target and that allows you to get the trade in and out of balance. So you can see the trade is going wrong on the uh, the favorite that we've got here. So necessarily we really want to exit that before it gets any worse. So we'll do that. Um, and then we can continue to trade again. So the trade seemed to work out quite well on this one so we'll we'll do this again. And we'll do one on here as well. And um, if we look at Bassett Ben we'll give that a try as well. But the idea of this video is not necessarily to make money. You can see we've just done a successful trade there, so we now have two pounds. So we know that we've done, um, a, you know, two trades on that. We've done, we've successfully traded that, so we may want to do that again. But can you see what we've done here is quite cleverly. Um, we are now trading to a fixed profits target, and that allows you to balance out your profits with your losses a bit more effectively. If you're having sort of random amounts in profit backwards and forwards, it doesn't allow you to do that very effectively. So you can see here, we've got a pound profit here, we've got a pound profit here twice, and at the moment we're at a slight loss on here. So our decision here is, do we scratch this trade, or do we let this trade complete, or do we just take this, this loss here? So you can see, unsuccessful there, um, unsuccessful by one one tick there and we've got three successful trades through from here and overall because of this loss on the favorite we're going to be slightly down but nonetheless can you see how the tick sizes work if we decided to put a zero on the end of that and trade for 10 pound uh, profit we can do update stakes and you can see it's updated it from there or if we go for one then you can see it amends the stakes from there auto update will automatically update these so if you tick auto update, it will keep changing those as you're trading. Um, so if it moves from one odds range to another, that will automatically update for you. And you, trading by tick sizes is a sensible way of doing it because basically you have to control your risk then, but your profit is fixed and therefore that forces you to trade more effectively. You want to get as many trades through profitably as you can. So I recommend using tick sizes. You can uh, trade by liability, but that's more if you're going to do something in play that you would want to do that. But a good way to set up and start trading is to use tick sizes. You can do offset bets or make markets depending upon what you're attempting to do. Um, but by using the tick size, you'll get a fixed profit or loss each time that you trade. And that's a, the best way to trade.